Hello, I'm Morvid Clark and I'm here with Harper's Bazaar UK to share what you might not know about me. My guilty pleasure, I think, is really not feeling guilty about procrastination at all. I think I'm quite a millennial in that way. I allow myself to do lots of scrolling on TikTok, lots of playing games, and I don't feel guilty about it. My party trick isn't very exciting in Wales, but outside of Wales, people get really excited about the Welsh alphabet. It's quite an easy one if you're Welsh. I don't think I have a signature dance move. I think I'm like a woeful dancer. My sister's really good and I wish she was here to give a little dance. But um, I danced the lyrics, which I'm hearing more and more is like incredibly embarrassing. So yeah, I'm a big lip syncer. It's my signature. I've always wanted my superpower to be the ability to stop time so I could kind of get everything done and sort my life out. But then I realized that's just kind of trying to live normally but with a superpower. So I feel that's a bit sad. So I'd go for flying. In my dreams when I'm flying, I'm very happy. My strangest audition experience was when I somehow ended up at a Chanel commercial casting and everyone there was a model and about a foot taller than me. And I had to walk and show them how my body moved to music and um, it still haunts me that somewhere out there that piece of footage exists. St Maud um, is a job that's definitely changed my life completely but I think probably doing lambing with my uncle which I've never been so tired, so cold, so wet and everything's a breeze after doing that. If I wasn't an actor I think I would want to be a therapist or a psychiatrist which I think is kind of fascination with people, an observation of people, but also I, I'd love to be a midwife. My dream role to play, I've been lucky enough to have already played it on stage, um, which is Blodeweth, um, which is a story from the Mabinogi, the Welsh um, legends and folk tales about this woman who was created for a man who couldn't marry a woman from the realm of men and she's made out of flowers and she's wild just like the seasons and can't be tamed. And I did that with Theatre Gennad Lethal Cymru and I would love to play that in a different setting. My best piece of career advice was actually given to me by a New Zealander, an actor called Rauri Job, told me you've got to realise that when you're on a job that's when you're on holiday and the bits in between is the work. I have been starstruck already by Bill Nye, but I know if I met him again, I would absolutely be starstruck for the second time, and it would just never end. He was so twinkly, and I just became a giggly mess and felt like I was walking on air the whole way home. I felt incredibly privileged to work with Jennifer Ely on St. Maud. She's an actress that I've admired for most of my like teenage years, and um, kept me company on six, sick days where I'd kind of watch reruns of Pride and Prejudice and to actually work with her, but also to really have the best experience of meeting your heroes. Yeah, was just wonderful. The advice I give my teenage self, I don't think unfortunately has changed that much, which is just to relax and enjoy things a lot. I think I tend to think about the past or the future and could be in the moment a little bit more and to reply to messages. To be nominated for an Eve after Rising Star Award still, um, just saying that feels completely bizarre. So I'd say bizarre is the main thing. Also, it's just wonderful to be in a list of names that I kind of admire so much, like Florence Pugh, John Boyega, well, everybody who's been nominated for this award, I think are wonderful. So yeah, to be amongst that list is really special.